Good evening and welcome to Compline on this Wednesday evening. Quite often we start with a moment of quiet, but let me pray for you this night as we begin. Heavenly Father, as we come to you this evening, we offer ourselves to you. Father, we ask for even just for a few minutes that you will take away the worries and the concerns and the burdens and the fears that we have for ourselves, for our family, for our world. Father, we ask that as we come to you, we will meet in your presence tonight, a loving God, a God who takes away our fears, a God who forgives us. Father, we know that you are all of those things, but Father, sometimes we forget and we need to be reminded. So tonight we meet our Heavenly Father, who loves us, who cares for us, who carries those burdens, if only we let him, who takes away those fears, who stands with us as we stand at crossroads in our lives. So Father, we come to you now. in your amazing Son, our Saviour. Calm me, O oh Lord, as you stilled the storm. Still me, O oh Lord, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold me, Lord, in your peace. Father, bless the work that is done and the, <coughs> excuse me, and the work that is to be. Father, bless the servant that I am and the servant that I will be. Thou Lord and God of power, shield and sustain me this night. I will lie down this night with God and God will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with Christ, and Christ will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with the Spirit, and the Spirit will lie down with me. God and Christ and the Spirit be lying down with me. Psalm 27 verse 1 says these words. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? So many passages in the Bible both encourage and command us not to be afraid. This particular verse on fear has a different spin. It pauses the question, why should I be afraid? Why should we fear circumstances that come our way when God is our light here on earth and has promised us a home in heaven when we die? This scripture provides an eternal perspective by reminding us that God is our ever-present, loving protector. Ask yourself today, what do I really need to be afraid of if this is the kind of God that I serve? The 
Would you close your eyes with me? And for our prayers tonight, I want to make you feel just a little bit uncomfortable, but then I'd like to comfort you. With our eyes closed, I'd like you to think of what your fear is. It probably, is, it probably isn't a comfortable place to be. What is it that you are afraid of? If it was comfortable, it wouldn't be a fear. And I'd like to picture, I'd like you to picture that in front of you. However that may be. And as you picture that, and as you're standing, I'd like you to see in your mind and hear in your mind footsteps approaching you from behind. And they're closer now, and they're at your side. And a hand slips their hand into yours. And you realise that it's Jesus standing there next to you. And he looks down at you and he says, it's all right. It will be fine. All will be well. Because I'm here and I'm going to walk through this fear with you. And that thing will still be there. But it will not hurt you or touch you because I am here and we'll walk through it together. And I'd like you to try and keep that in your mind. To remember that God doesn't send us anywhere without the strength and the power to be able to cope with it. And in a moment, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer. Give us this day our daily bread. The Lord gives us all that we need in that day. Every day, without fail. Let's say those words of the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The peace of God be over me to shelter me, under me to uphold me, about me to protect me, behind me to direct me, ever with me to save me. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, wherever you go, Jesus will be there holding your hand and all will be well. That's God's promise. Good night and God bless you.